Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our preview of the big Browns Steelers game Sunday at First Energy Stadium. And boy, does this have big game written all over it. It's an opportunity, uh, obviously, for the Browns to go to three and two uh, and join other teams in the division uh, that all have three victories right now. So uh, they can tighten that race up in the AFC North, but the first thing they have to be able to do is figure out how to solve Ben Roethlisberger, who is 18 and one against the Browns. It's, it's, you know, it's since 1970, it's the best start by any quarterback against any team in the NFL. And it's just an amazing string, uh, the way they've played. Of course, the last time they beat him two years ago, uh, he was not the quarterback, it was Charlie Batch. And he's off to another good start this year. And he's got a lot of help this, this year with a just tremendous running back. Yeah, Le'Veon Bell is just playing lights out. I mean, these guys in here, the locker room, the coaches, they can't say enough about Le'Veon Bell. And we all know what's been happening with this run defense lately. Won't get any easier this week with some guys out. Uh, Phil Taylor, one of their best run stuffers, out with the knee injury, the knee scope that he had this week. Uh, Paul Kruger, we're not entirely certain what his status for the game will be with a back injury. So uh, Billy Wynn, I mean, there's a, a bunch of guys that are down uh, when they have to uh, try to face Bell and Blunt. And, and then we're talking already about a defense that's ranked 31st in the league, so losing a couple good players, it's just going to make it, it tougher. Uh, this is a real tall task for this defense this week. It really is, and you know, it all starts too with Antonio Brown and of course Marcus Wheaton. Antonio Brown kind of had his way with Joe Hayden in the first game. Marcus Wheaton, same thing with Justin Gilbert. This game, Joe Hayden, we're not entirely certain he'll be able to play because of the hip injury, uh, and therefore two rookies could be starting on that side or splitting reps there in Justin Gilbert, Robert Nelson, K1 Williams in the slot against guys like Antonio Brown and Marcus Wheaton. Whew. Again, we, we get to this point of year where it's next man up, but they, they, you know, when you're starting to rely on a lot of undrafted free agents uh, to, to play in big games, uh, you know, one or two of them okay, but boy, you're, you're starting to ask a lot of, uh, you're really starting to stress this uh, roster. And you know, when you look at Brian Hoyer and this offense, they're overachieving, there's a good running game, great offensive line. Brian Hoyer's been doing a really, really nice job and those receivers and tight ends all stepping up. But if they are gonna keep Ben Roethlisberger and Antonio Brown and those guys off the field, they're gonna have to run the football, Tom. What do you think? Uh, yeah, and they've done that very well uh, through the first four weeks of the season. They're fourth in the league in rushing, uh, coming off another big game where they, where they ran the ball well. And of course, they had tremendous success in the last game, 191 yards rushing against the Steelers. The Steelers struggle with this wide zone scheme. They've had trouble with Baltimore earlier this year against it. They've also had trouble in the past against Houston and teams like that. So they don't see it a whole lot. Uh, but they'll start, they're going to start to see it more in the division because two teams are now running it with Baltimore and Cleveland. That's right. Now, one thing the Browns won't be able to do this game that they did in the first meeting. They will not be surprising Dick LeBeau with that no huddle offense this time. He is ready for it. And you know what? Sometimes the Browns have had success with it this season. Sometimes they have not. But this time, they're going to, I think, have to come up with some new wrinkles for Dick LeBeau. Yeah, yeah without question. Uh, I do think that they'll be, continue to be run heavy. Uh, but uh, uh, it'll be also interesting, Mary Kay, this will be Brian Hoyer's first time uh, playing against uh, a team that he's, he's seen before. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, they, the teams now have, are starting to get a lot of film on Brian Hoyer. How did Dick LeBeau adjust uh, to Brian Hoyer? And you know what? Of course, we know that the Browns are 0-2 in, di in the division. And if you want to make the playoffs, obviously, you have to win those division games. You have to win your home games. So uh, hopefully for the Browns, they'll be able to put two halves of football together and try to pull this one out against the Steelers. And that's it for our Steelers preview here in Berea.